Centennial Park lands is five kilometres from the CBD, yet we have 11 natural ornamental ponds that have been reformed since uh, 1888 when the park opened. Centennial Park lands is approximately 360 hectares in size. It's the most heavily used urban space in Australia and we have approximately 7 million visits a year. It's also very popular for picnics and also for cycling. Historically, back in the 90s, the Trust was looking at a, uh, an efficient way to be able to use stormwater from the ponds and they chose irrigation so they could enhance the aesthetics of the parklands and bring up the quality of the sports fields. And because Centennial Parklands is a catchment area for the surrounding suburbs, it was a logical choice. Stormwater harvesting is being used for two main areas the management of our parklands, open space and sports fields, and also in our amenities for the flushing of toilets. We have approximately 36 sporting fields, of which about 30 are irrigated using the uh, stormwater runoff from the ponds. There are 11 internal ponds at Centennial Park and one at Moor Park. Of the 11 inside Centennial Park, five are being fed by surrounding stormwater runoff. Water comes from runoff of roads primarily and enters the parklands from the underground stormwater network. With the stormwater runoff brings gross pollutants such as sediments and hydrocarbons from oil and grease and nutrients from fertiliser and soil which have a detrimental effect on the pond system that lends itself for the outbreak of blue-green algae. That's a huge challenge to us at the Trust to, uh, one, keep the water clean so it's suitable for uh, irrigation purposes, but also for our ecosystems and the management of our ponds and the surrounding environment. The quality of the ponds water varies between the 11 ponds. We have to meet uh, standards in regards to the quality of the water and we have that tested as per the EPA recommendations. Stormwater is used on the covered arena at Centennial Parklands to manage the sand arena, to keep it in a condition that's safe and also suitable for horses and equestrian activities. And that saves a significant amount of potable water. New infrastructure that's been installed as part of the project that we have here is a series of gross pollutant traps. We also have a number of booms that collect oil and all sorts of floating debris that enters the parkland as well. The results have been staggering. Historically, a number of local government sporting fields have been closed during drought conditions and restrictions on potable water. Here at Centennial Parklands, we have had no such problems and are able to present our sports field in a, a Category A condition. We're saving potable drinking water for what it's supposed to be used for, and also we've reduced our overall costs.